Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have another great new arrival to show you. This is the all new redesigned 2022 Forest River Surveyor Legend Model 252 RBLE. This particular trailer comes in at approximately 5,300 pounds and is going to be just under 30 foot in overall length. Now Surveyor is definitely one of my top trailers in my opinion and it's a really good option if you're a couple that's looking for something retirement grade or you know you're looking for something that you just want to travel in or you know be a weekend warrior that is really nice and upscale and has a lot of features and we're going to talk about some of those features such as the optional theater seats the great little outside mini kitchenette the solar package all the storage because i tell you for a under 30 foot trailer this thing has a ton of storage it's really well thought out and in addition you know you've got the asdell composite sidewalls forced air heat into the underbelly this is a great option if you're looking for that with all those qualities so let's go ahead we'll jump on to the interior start with the slide out closed and we'll see what you think we welcome any feedback and I'm gonna tell you a couple things that I would like to see different and if you appreciate the fair and unbiased views please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button leave us a comment below as well tell you tell us what you'd like what you don't like and we'd greatly appreciate it so as we come up inside of the trailer with the slide out closed if we go to the right you can see that you're always going to have ex access to the bedroom now if we kind of spin back around this way you'll notice you have a very nice sized area to be or to get to everything which is a really good uh feature especially if you like to stay in some of those overnight parking lots you know at a travel center or something but if we walk in through here you can see that you do have full access to your dinette you do have full travel accessibility to all of your kitchen including the refrigerator which is a nice and very hard thing to find sometimes and you can see that you do have full access to the pantry now you do lose out on a couple little bitty cabinets here and the TV as you can see but if you're stopping for a travel stop I don't think that you're gonna be watching TV or anything and then as always since you have a pocket door and you're past the slide out you can get to the full bathroom so overall guys this passes the travel accessibility test and a lot of people call this turtling um, when you've got the slide out closed so this is very turtle friendly I'm always amazed anytime I put a slide out in on one of these not necessarily surveyor but just any RV and then you put it back out just how much it opens up it really feels like you're gaining two inches for every inch deep that a slide out is so I'm standing actually in the bedroom doorway to kind of give you a sense of where we're at. And as you can see here, you have a nice booth dinette that will turn down into an extra bed if you need it to. And we'll take a look at the storage in that here in just a minute. You can also see the nice big picture windows that you have in that slide out. There's windows on all three of the sides of the slide out. The N2 do open, and which is really nice. Um, I kind of wish this big window in the slide out there would open. Uh, you can see you have the pleated nightshades. If we're being fair, they do an okay job at blocking the light. I would like to see them kind of a darker color just to... You know, if you've got a migraine or something and you need to lay down, that would really help block out a lot of the light. Now, if we're being fair, you do have a little bit of carpet. And I think at some point, now I don't have confirmation on this, so don't hold me to it. 
but I think at some point Surveyor will get rid of the carpet in the slide out, but that is probably going to be a couple years down the road. If we take a seat or it, on the, your main sofa, which we'll take a look at here in just a minute, you can see that you have a nice view of the entertainment center and I'll show you again what this sofa looks like here in just a minute. Um, really good TV placement. TVs are an option in the Surveyor product so we've applied the 39 inch TV as you can see right there. Down below in that top right corner of the cabinet you do have your AM, FM and Bluetooth player that will control the interior and exterior speakers and has HDMI and USB ports in it which is pretty cool. Now, if we look up top, you'll notice that you have your air conditioner and double rows of LED lights, which is a very nice touch. Surveyors have always had a really good lighting package. Now, this is a 15,000 BTU AC standard, which is a huge feature in my opinion. Um, I like not having to pay for the extra BTUs, but that's just me. Um, and then surveyors are a six foot nine inch tall sidewall now so what that's going to do is going to give you a little bit taller slide out it's going to give you more room in the shower which is really nice taller overhead cabinets tons of benefits to that taller slide out if you look or sidewall if we look down at the floor a change for 2022 this is the wood plank floor there is no longer a stone print floor option so if you've looked at these in 2021 they had a couple different flooring options they just have this one now but while we're down here you'll notice that you don't have any heat vents in the floor you have cabinet ducted heating which you can see kind of down there on the bottom left of that cabinet surveyors do have a forced air heated underbelly and we'll talk a little bit more about that on the outside but the biggest thing with that is they have a dedicated heat duct coming off the furnace that goes into the underbelly to heat it If we look back this way, you'll notice that here's your main seating. Now this does have, excuse me, the optional theater seats. And this is the new morning fog interior decor. Um, this is what is replacing Tarista. It's very similar in color, but uh, it is a different fabric. Now these don't have the heat or massage or anything like that. Um, but they are nice recliners. You can get this with a hide-to-bed sofa if you want, or a standard jackknife. We felt that since this is directly across from the TV, that it really warranted these theater seats. One thing I do want to mention, all of your countertops are a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop. And I really like this handy plug and USB ports right there, right next to the sofa. You have a couple of, or theater seats. I'm going to keep doing that probably throughout the rest of this video. But you can also see you have the cup holders there, which is nice. <clears throat> Oops, and I'm backing into stuff. If we're being fair, this does kind of lack campsite windows. I really like that big window, though, in the kitchen there. And we'll take a look at all this kitchen storage here in just a minute. But I really like this straight line kitchen. It has a surprisingly good amount of countertop space. And I would really like to see Surveyor go back to having windows in the entry doors. Let me know what you think. And again, if you appreciate me showing a couple things that I would like to see changed and, I'm not, and that I don't care for, again, hit that like button, follow along, hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Uh, we always try to be fair and unbiased in all of our reviews. So as we take a look at all of the storage, first thing I want to start off with is you have a couple of very good sized overhead cabinets up here as well. Um, these are all strut supported and pocket screwed cabinetry. Anytime they have one or a cabinet door that's going to lift up like this. Uh, now the pocket screwed cabinetry, that's throughout the whole trailer. I was just I was talking about these cabinet door struts right there. 
Now, if we kind of back up and turn to the left, underneath the dinette, you have their new easy access dinette storage. And I would really appreciate some feedback on this. And our surveyor rep, who or reps, it's a father and son team. They're very good friends of mine. And this is new. There's not a lot of people that have tried this yet. Um, so we would really like your feedback. Do you like this with the strut supported um, under storage there? Now you do have to take off the cushions as I've done here, but the nice thing about this is you can actually get some big cases of water and things in here uh, underneath here instead of having to get on your hands and knees and mess with a little door on the on each end. Now what I'd be curious is if they left the door here, but they also had the easy access storage. And I'm curious, what would you think about that? Would you like to see something like that? It's a little unconventional. It does both ways, but I think that would be a good idea. Now, if we spin back around here, you'll notice you do have a little bit of storage underneath the entertainment center. Perfect for some of those DVDs and things of that sort. Now, before we take a look at the kitchen proper, I always forget to do this before now, but you do have your control panel right here. Now, this up here is going to be your on and off switch for basically the Wi-Fi Ranger, which is the uh, how you can get LTE data or an LTE data access point for your trailer. And then you've got your control panel here that's got your lights, slide outs, and awnings and then down here this little controller that's blinking at me is your solar charge controller for the 80 watt solar panel that's up on the roof now it's not the be all end all of solar but it is very expandable if i remember correctly you can fit up to i want to say it's i want to say it's 200 watts before you have to upgrade this um, i could be wrong on that but it's nice that it is expandable and I think a lot of people are going to like that. As we come over here, you've got good storage back up in there. Um, and that's probably a terrible shot. But as you can see, you do have lots of cabinetry space. Um, this little angled panel here, that's just protecting some of the wiring from uh, the control panels and things of that sort. So really good storage up top there. You do have a microwave and hood range up there. And if we drop down and look up, um, oh, come on, focus with me, camera. You have a couple of household outlets right next to that uh, hood range right there. And then if we go over here, you have a couple more. And that, that probably is not showing up very well because of that window. But you have four outlets in there, which is nice. Tons of countertop space. You do have a one basin sink that is stainless steel, high rise faucet up there as well. And then down here you have got a really good chunk of storage. I like that this bottom one is a little taller than the top uh, shelf space, just so you can put a small wastebasket or something underneath there. That's really well thought out. And then you've got three full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guide drawers. And then you have a three burner cooktop with the countertop extension cover. So that will flip up and back so you can use the burners. And then you've got an oven down there in case you want to do some baking. And now let's talk refrigerators. So, and this has always been a tricky spot to get pictures and video of. But Surveyor is using the Norcold 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. So this will work off of the solar panel or your charge line on your pickup or the uh, shore power. Basically, as long as your converter has power, this fridge will run. So really good there. It's also safe to use when tra in transit. Um, one thing a lot of dealers and manufacturers are not telling you, and the dealers, I'm surprised a lot more people don't know about this, but you actually, in a lot of states, you can't run propane going down the road anymore. 
So that's why you're seeing a lot more of these 12 volt DC active compressor fridges instead of the gas and electrics. Now, if that wasn't enough storage, if we open door number one, you can see you have a huge walk-in pantry. You've got tons of space. You'll notice that light kicked on. So that is a motion sensor light. And I like that you have plenty of room here where if you want to put up like a cordless vacuum or a broom, Swiffer holder, whatever you want to do, um, you've got room to do that as well. And then behind door number two, we've got the bathroom. And we'll take a look at that here, well, right now. So as we step into the bathroom, and man, that jet is loud today. You have a nice pocket door. So this will close off here. And one thing Surveyor does is they have this little magnet right here that will really hold that closed, which is a very nice touch. And apparently that is getting caught there. There we go. So as we come into the bathroom, you'll notice you have a nice medicine cabinet. There's a mirror there. And I really like these toothbrush holders they have under the back or on the bottom side of the mirror here. Um, this is a very nice touch. So you've got a nice sink that you can actually get adult size hands into. Notice they're using a backsplash behind that, which is something you never see, even in these big luxury fifth wheels. You are going to have a GFI protected outlet on the side of that sink. And then right here is going to be your tank monitoring panel. So you've got your water pump, water heater on gas and electric switches, and then your tank monitoring panel. Good storage underneath there as well. And as we turn to the right, you'll notice you have a nice big 30 by 36 inch shower. Now one thing that Surveyor does that I really like they use bigger corner cabinet, uh, corner shelves here. So anytime you look at a surveyor, bring a bottle of water with you or a, I'm, I'm not gonna say a Coke, unless it's in a bottle, I guess that would be okay. But that will actually fit things on it, which is kind of a, some it's something that you don't normally find in these showers. Now, it does have the ABS plastic surround and the slow close shower curtain. You have the skylight up top, and I can stand under this back portion here and not even hit the roof, and I'm 6'3". So if you're 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, you should have no problem showering in here whatsoever. And then up here you have a nice vent fan. Now, you could upgrade this to a larger one if you wanted to. But this is where I think this trailer shines, is you have this massive cabinet here. It does have a hanging rod in there, so if you want to use it for extended clothes storage, you can do that. Or if you want to put a shelving organizer at the bottom and use it for linens and stuff, you could do that too. And you've got the nice mirrored cabinet doors here, which is a really nice touch. And then you are going to have a couple of towel and robe hooks up here as well. So as we jump to the opposite end of the trailer, you do have your master bedroom. Now, this is really dumb in my opinion. I don't know why they did this, but for some reason, the master bedroom light switch is out here instead of in the master bedroom. It just seems kind of dumb to me, but beside the point, at least you have a light switch. You got your thermostat right there, pocket door to separate this off. Now, surveyors, in every surveyor, you are gonna have a 60 by 80 True Queen. So if you wanna upgrade the mattress with a good one, because let's be honest, all RV mattresses are complete trash, you can do that. And it's not gonna stick over, it's made for a residential queen size mattress. Now on each side, you are gonna have cross breeze windows. They both open, which is a hard quality to find sometimes here lately. You're gonna have a drawer, and then you do have a nice sized hanging closet. You can see, well, it's probably hard to see because it's black on and it's dark on there, but you do have a hanging rod that goes across there. Nice bit of overhead storage here. Now in the Legend series, they used to, last year they didn't have anything in front of this to hold your stuff up above the cabinets. 
These are using the cargo net now. So this is real easy to pull down, get, you know, put whatever you need to up there. And I kind of like that. Another thing I really like is you've got a extra vent up here. You don't normally see this. Now what I would do is make that a turbo exhaust vent or a max air fan. And it would be really easy to do because you could piggyback off the wiring for those lights. But that would really get some cross breeze going through here. You've got the extra front windshield up there to let in some natural light. It does have a privacy shade on it too. And then back in here, you can see you have a couple little cubbies. That bottom one does rem it, or is removable and has a cup holder in it. And the nice thing is if you sleep with a CPAP machine, there's plugs underneath that bottom cubby with the cup, hol uh, the cup holder in it. So you can actually put your CPAP machine back there and it's a lot easier to get to. Now, I do want to show you up here. It's easier to do since I don't have the drawer out on this side. But you do have household and USB outlets up here for this little ledge as well. Lastly, if we spin back around, if you want to add a bedroom TV, you're all set to do that. You've got all the appropriate hookups and a TV backer right there. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead now. We'll jump onto the outside and take a look at some of the outside features. And if you like what you see on the inside, you're going to like how these things are built. And we'll talk a little bit more about that right about now. Okay, guys, so we're back on the outside of this brand new 2022 Surveyor Legend model 252 RBLE. So starting up front here, you have a nice fiberglass exterior. You do have the automotive grade front windshield, as you can see right there. Diamond plate rock guard down below. You have a power tongue jack standard, two 20 pound propane tanks rails for your battery behind that and you have a handy battery disconnect you're also going to have a dog leash clip or safety chain hook as i like to call it and then around this side between my two battery cables there you do have a seven way plug holder now as we come around this side onto the camp side you have a slam latch baggage door right here good size pass-through storage as you can see there it gets a little bit narrow on the other side surveyor is an all aluminum framed construction and you can see that they double side or double weld all of their aluminum trusses which is very nice now a cool thing is anytime you have a baggage door window slide out whatever they're gonna have a piece of aluminum going around for example this baggage door you have it going all the way around uh, the, the perimeter of it and a lot of trailers they will use aluminum just at the exterior edges so going up here going all the way across down the back and at the bottom not necessarily a cage construction and that may make them a little bit lighter but this is going to be stronger and again you do have the slam latch right there you have four corner stabilizer jacks, they are manual, and they do give you the half inch or five eighths inch bit uh, to control those with an electric, uh, electric drill if you want to. Now if we look up top here, you can see that you have a very nice sized power awning that does have LED light strips in it as well, and they still give you the porch light, which is kind of nice. You are gonna have a friction hinge door, so if we take this door and fling it, it's gonna catch itself. You do have the triple step, more ride step above steps. There's a step light in there uh, for at night too, which is a pretty cool feature. Gorgeous looking black aluminum wheels. That's a new change for this year. And if we look up top here again, you do have two outside speakers. As we move down just a little bit further, and it's kind of hard to tell you about it since it's behind this door, but you do have, well, let's see if I can do this. You do have uh, your black tank flush, or no, I'm sorry, um, your cable and satellite hookup. The black tank flush is on the other side. Uh, you've got your cable outlet and a 110 power plug there. This door is held by a magnetic uh, catch right there, as you can see. 
and then well if I can get it back up there we go now I don't have this completely set up but you do have the outside kitchen every surveyor has an outside kitchen which is very nice and you have this extendable countertop here with that you can put a griddle which was that box in the past uh, actually yes it was in the pass-through storage I believe um, if you're not using the griddle and you want some extra prep space you can flip that down and use it like that and then there will be a sink that goes in here you have your mini fridge for all of your adult beverages and juice pops and then right here you do have a cold water spray port as we come around to the back side you'll see a square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky spare tire spare tire carrier a ladder to get up onto the fully walkable pvc roof that does have a 20 year defect warranty so basically if the pvc material itself kind of starts to uh, degrade from a manufacturer defect they'll cover that 100 percent coverage whether it's year one or year 20 um, which is nice and then you've also got a backup camera prep location up there as well coming back over here you are going to have your cable satellite city water connection black tank flush and your 30 amp service and if we drop down here you'll notice that you do have a or your sewer tank outlet is right up underneath there notice it's tucked up nice and high which is a really good feature and then back up over here uh, real quick i do want to mention that all your slide outs are slide on and top are ready you've got your six gallon gas electric water heater your potable water fill and the other side of your pass-through storage Real quick, a couple other things. I do want to get down on underneath here. And as you can see, this has the fully enclosed and heated underbelly like we talked about on the inside, 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 just a little bit. And then Surveyor does use the Asdale onboard composite panels. The nice thing about that, they protect against any delamination, rot, mold, or mildew from water. They also have a little better sound dampening quality. They're lighter weight and they have twice the insulation as or value as wood, which is a very, very nice feature. All right, guys, with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 252 RBLE. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like uh, pricing, availability, or if you have any specific questions that you'd like answered, there's three ways you can get in contact with us. You can post any questions or anything down in the comment section below. You can give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. If you could uh, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And again, please feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell and leave us any comments. Do you like this trailer? Do you not like it? Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big chain dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys. Again, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Man, that jet is loud.